Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you a few tips on how to lay out your initial website design. Now what I've done is I've selected one of the pre-designed websites that we offer here at Web Starts and I'm going to customize this to make it my own and let me show you how I do that. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is change the background image of this website and I'm going to do that by clicking on file and going to background and then going to image and then choose, clicking on this button here that says choose files and I'm going to upload a file from my local computer. Now in just a few moments this file will be uploaded to my file manager and what I will be able to do is apply it as a full screen background and I'll show you how to do that. Now notice when it uploads it asks me if I would like to resize this image to make it load faster so I'm going to select yes it just means that it's going to make the image dimensions a little bit smaller so that they load more quickly so with the tile option of full screen selected which is this one right here I just click apply and you can see that my image is applied as the background of my website. Now the next thing that I recommend you do when you're creating a layout is to use little space for your company logo and that's up here in the top left for this example. I'm going to call this website Uh, romantic getaways and then I'm going to change the color of the text I'm going to select that I've mixed this custom pink color because I like it and I'm going to choose this little bar over here which is uh, which is actually a border on a box and I'm going to apply the little pink color to that as well so now you can see that I've changed a few things about my design and I've created a layout and the next part I want to talk to you about is your navigation menu. This is the navigation menu. This is the part where people navigate from page to page and something you want to keep in mind is that if you only have five or six pages to your website it may behoove you to have your navigation menu span the top of the page just like it does here maybe you can move it up a little bit or whatever but if you are going to have 10, 20, 30, 40 pages whatever many pages I suggest you change your navigation menu to be displayed vertically you do that by clicking the edit menu icon located here and you click on the vertical menu option and I choose custom menu. I'm going to leave all the other properties the same and click continue and now my menu has been changed to a vertical menu and it will span uh, the length of the page rather than the width and allows me to fill up all this area with different pages. Uh, something to keep in mind when you're creating a page. It's very important to have a clear headline when people visit your website they need to know that they're at the right place so uh, I'm going to add a headline to my web page and I'm just going to say uh, let's see here I'm going to say romantic getaways the world's most exotic locations and as you can see that's tremendously large so I'm going to select the text and I'm going to knock it down to a 24 point font size and I'm going to resize my text box here so that it is only as large as my headline and I'm going to widen that out and I'm also going to make sure that my headline is centered, so it is. I'm actually going to also click on this little cog, and I'm going to make my text closer together 
See if I can get this to fit all on the same line. You know, it's not going to look good that way. So, but I am going to put my text closer together, and I'm actually going to just choose a different font style. And I don't know. Let's see. So I'm making a few tweaks here, and you can see I'm adding some text spacing. But that's your headline, and notice behind my headline I have this uh, black box that I've adjusted the transparency on. Actually, it came that way when I loaded the pre-designed site, but you can change the transparency. And the darker you make that background, the easier it's going to be for people to read that text uh, in front of your... Uh, content section. So make sure that you keep that in mind when you're doing your layout. I'm going to change this little part down here to be the hot paint. So now I'm ready to add my content and I've got my navigation menu over here and I'm going to actually uh, I'm going to do this, move that over here uh, just so that so that I have room for my navigation. And in fact, I'm going to add a box behind this navigation menu. And I'm going to show you that it's just a way that I'm going to use to, res or just, I'm just going to be reserving this space right here for my menu. I'll make it, I'll make it solid black. And I'm going to remove that little border that's around it. I'm going to move this just down in here. Okay. Then I'm going to use my guidelines, which are those pink, little pink lines that show up when you adjust uh, your content boxes and your text boxes and things just to make sure that that's spot on. And then from here I'm going to add a text box and what you want to do is once again you want to add a little spacing in there and you want to drag this out and make sure that you're creating enough white space to add your text box and from here I can go ahead and add the content to my website but I think with everything I've done here you should get a pretty good idea of how to lay out an initial site. I'm going to save that and if you view that on the live site you can see it looks pretty nice. I've got uh, plenty of room here for my, my content and I can talk about my vacations or my deals or whatever but this is a good basic layout and I hope you found this tutorial helpful for determining your own layout for your site. Don't forget to visit webstarts.com to make your very own free website and subscribe to this channel to see more helpful videos like this.